So Chris, you've been paying attention to launches and things. What's What's been out to launch lately? Well, gosh, uh, yeah, quick update on the world of launches, because actually they're going on at the rate where there was a launch yesterday. There's an event tomorrow um, where we're absolutely in the midst of all these things. Let's jump around real quick and get a look at what's going on. First of all, I mentioned something launched yesterday. That's a cargo resupply mission from Cape Canaveral. This is a, a U.S. mission using the Cargo Dragon. Now, you know, you know the Dragon spacecraft of SpaceX can carry people. They also have a cargo version. That's what this is. No people aboard, just cargo. They launched yesterday. They are on their way to the space station and they'll dock with it tomorrow. The other picture that you see here shows a solar array. This is a rollout solar array, they call it, or ROSA for short. This is a new design of a solar array to give electric power from sunlight for the space station. They're lighter and they're more powerful than the ones we'd been using before. They had one previously at the station, they tested it. This one is going to actually stay at the space station and be one of several. There'll be uh, two more of these solar wings that will be delivered to the ISS a little later in the year. That's going on right now. Something else is going on right now. The Chinese are building their own space station up there, the Tiangong Space Station. Uh, they launched their first module for it. You may remember we talked about it last month. The Tianhe core, mo core module is up in orbit. They're going to be sending uh, Taikonauts, which is what they call their space voyagers, up to it. But before they do, they are launching some supplies. They've launched the supplies. They've docked with the Tianhe module, so they'll be available there for the Taikonauts to use during their stay. Tianzu, as it's known, means heavenly boat in Chinese, is a very capable vehicle. It actually can deliver about twice as much cargo as our own uh, Cargo Dragon. However, one thing Cargo Dragon can do that this one isn't designed to do is bring cargo back. It can't land because these vehicles don't have to have parachutes and heat shields and landing systems, all that. That means they can carry more up, but they can't bring any down. And Cargo Dragon will be doing that when it finishes its mission. Just a little different design of vehicle. Uh, the Russians, they also have a very capable cargo craft, the Progress. The Progress mission is gonna be at the end of the month. June 29th is planned. Yeah, and it's going to launch up to the International Space Station and dock there and del deliver supplies. Now, there are lots of things to talk about with the International Space Station. Russia is evaluating what their role is going to be with it going forward. There's an older module that the Russians have attached to the ISS that they're going to be decommissioning and actually casting off the station. They have some new, new modules coming up as well, but we'll see what the long-term plan for the Russians is, or maybe they're just going to, like the Chinese, make their own space station uh, that'll just be theirs. We will we'll see. We last month talked a lot about ser Starship serial number 15. Nobody on it, just testing this gigantic monster rocket. Uh, this is the one that was able to fly up to airliner height, turn around, fall back to the ground, and land safely. The first time that this design has been able to do that, it's a big achievement. We were thinking they might launch it again, but they changed their mind. They rolled it back, and it looks like they're going straight to Starship serial number 20. 20 will not just be this. This is just the upper stage. Starship number 20 will be riding on top of the first stage, a test of both, and a test going all the way, not to airliner height, but to orbit. And SpaceX has revealed their plans, their proposal. The uh, mission would, if you look in the upper, you can see actually both stages lifting off there in that artist's concept. But then if you look at the picture to the right of that at the top, you see a little squiggly line. That's the path for the first stage. The first stage cannot make it all the way into orbit. They have to dispose of that stage. Now, the plan normally would be to land it, but they're not ready for that yet. They just want to get the launch and they're going to drop it into the ocean. And that shows where? Just off the coast of Texas. The image at the bottom shows a launch from Texas takes you and the upper stage on its way to orbit across some pretty interesting territory. There are a lot of islands down there with a lot of people, a lot of population. When you launch from Cape Canaveral in Florida, there's nothing but ocean to the east. It's one of the reasons we don't launch 
east-west orbits from California. Launching east from California, you're going to fly over Arizona and places like that. So they have designed this flight path to thread between Cuba and the Bahamas and all the rest of this. They're going to send the second stage up, put it into orbit. They're going to bring it back through the atmosphere to test the heat shield. And then they're going to land it in the water, a splashdown. It's not a proper landing for it, but they're going to land it somewhere off the island of Kauai in the Hawaiian Islands. That's the plan. It's been proposed. We'll see what happens. Maybe August, September, who knows? But they're working on it now. It's pretty exciting. As far as upcoming launches, just a heads up, in July, uh, we're looking at a date to be determined, secret military launch of the Falcon Heavy. That's the three rocket core stage version of the Falcon rocket. The big one is going to launch a mission for the Air Force. Don't know the date right now. Or actually, yeah, it's a Space Force launch, in fact. Um, at the end of the month, we may have a flight of the Boeing Starliner spacecraft designed to carry people. It had trouble on its first mission to the International Space Station, didn't get to the station. They have decided to go ahead and do a repeat flight. May happen at the end of the month. So that's my, that is my world of space updates. Thank you. Well, thank you, Chris, for that. I appreciate that. Always exciting um, when SpaceX is launching bigger and bigger stuff. I think somebody there in Texas just wants a vacation to Hawaii myself. <laughs> It'd be a pretty quick trip. Would be. 